Now for some basic moving and copying text around your document. First of all, the most basic is to copy text would be to say, let me select this, and you can either use the shortcut key Control C to copy it, or you can come up here on the Home tab and click on this little copy button. Of course, remember, you can always add this copy button to your Quick Access Toolbar if you'd like by right-clicking the Access Toolbar. But let me copy it by clicking on the button and then just scrolling down to, I don't know, another part of your document. Let me hit Enter a couple of times. And then you can use the shortcut key Control V as in Victor to paste. And I'll undo that. Or you can click on the Paste button and it'll paste it. And I'll undo that. Or you can click on the Paste um, arrow below it and do either a Paste Special, which goes into different types of uh, formats we won't cover here or go to a paste as hyperlink and what that means is that when I hover over it it prompts me to hold down the control key and click it and it takes me right back up and it's linking right to the text that I copied go ahead and undo that aside from copying text and pasting it all over the document let's say you don't want your text copied you actually want to move the heading itself well you'd select it and click on the pair of scissors and then come down here somewhere, hit enter a couple of times, and then, like you say, you can click on the paste button to paste it too. So the difference between cutting and copying, and I'll um, control Z to undo all this, is that with copying, you're, again, you're just copying the text and pasting copies of it, where cutting actually cuts it out and paste, you can paste it somewhere else. Finally, if you can select text, you can actually move it without cutting it. Here's some magic. There's my text. I move my pointer right in the middle of the, the selection and I can click that text and you see where that little dotted line is. I'll move over here, maybe you can see it there. There's that dotted line. Anywhere where I put this dotted line to and let go of the mouse, it moves it to it. So I can click and drag it and put that dotted line right about here again. Or because it's getting messy, I'll just go ahead and click undo a couple of times to get it back to where it was. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.